Yo, what's going on guys? Now, for all, maybe two of you, who care about this weapon, and all for all of you who are probably still crying that I don't have a Chrysler video out, I'm sorry. But, for the two people, to, for the two people who care about this weapon, we're doing a uh, video on a new Zeno weapon that came out with Zeno uh, Sagittarius. This weapon being a fist, and to be honest, it's very peculiar. It's, I wouldn't say it's bad, but I wouldn't say it's good either. So let's take a little look at it. It's definitely right between, between, between trash and good. Like, it, uh, it probably depends more on the classes than the weapon itself. Well, I guess the weapon matters too, but I think it needs a really good class to get good value out of it. So this is the newest Zeno weapon. Now, when I say that, it's like not great, but it's not bad either. It's like, so the effect on it is that boost to all allies, charge bar gain, one turn cut to main character skill, uh, skill cooldown, which is okay. I don't think that's bad at all. The problem lies in the new skill that you gain upon reaching uh, level 120, I think, or something like that. When main weapon, main character only, all allies deal triple attacks after a chain burst activation of four or more. So normally that requires you to have all your characters all Ogi at the same time. Or if you have a character that doesn't double Ogi, then they can do that to make up for the loss of one character. Now that's okay in sense, depending on the element you're playing with. When you're kind of limited there are not that many great characters with double ogies. There's only one really that's an SR. Secondly, there's no real instant ogie charge other than Siete and Siete's dead meme. <laughs> Rest in peace, our boy Siete, getting a power crept. Ogie meta, not alive in wind at the moment. So, but you can see that like when it's like. A couple of things could change to make this weapon really decent, but currently it's not that like groundbreaking, like overpowered or anything, in my opinion. You may have a different opinion from mine, and your opinion is wrong, but go ahead and state it. <laughs> I'm just joking in case somebody gets butt hurt. But we're gonna be looking at this weapon today. I'm going with Rune Slayer because I don't use it that much. Hell, JK, I use it all the time for GW. But I'm going with Rune Slayer, and uh, we're bringing our boy Siete because he's our walking Ogi charge. Uh, we bring in Yule because Yule's a uh, new unit, and I uh, like, why not? And you get a little combination, like you get the full chain, then you get the bonus damage. Not bad, not bad. And Neo's there because Neo, broken Nash unit. <laughs> we're taking on Yggdrasil high level or not. We're getting an error. I guess we're not taking on any boss. Guess the video's over, huh? Let's check. Oopsies. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's try this again. Now, if all of you probably noticed, oh, it's only one more time left on now. I wonder why. <clears throat> because I recorded a video and it had no audio. <laughs> Whoopsies. It's okay, though. Y'all never see it. <laughs> You will never see that video. Now let's try this again. And you're probably thinking, why don't you bring back row? You could bring Esser. And you're right. I can't. But I'm not. We don't need back row here. So we got Yggdrasil. Now, I kind of forget how Rune Slayer works. <laughs> I think the combination is Earth and Fire for the defense down. Let me check though. So hopefully that hits. It did. Cool. Yes. Easy, bro. Every time. Now, with this team, since I'm gonna take a little time to Ogi, I'm not. You heard it. I'm not using uh, Neo skill instantly. Cause I want to get the full chain off. But I'm scared that I won't have enough multi attack. So I'm gonna wait a turn. <laughs> so Neo gets three turns on her skill too, right? But if you don't have, if I don't get enough. Um, charge, Neo won't Ogi, and then I won't get the extend, and I don't want that to happen. You're probably thinking, that's not likely to happen. It, it happened. <laughs> yeah. 
So I'm just making sure that we avoid this situation at all costs. There you go. I don't really recommend doing that, but you know, I'm doing it just because I don't want it to happen. I'm gonna be annoyed. Look, 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 look at that, look at that, look at that. 89. See? You gotta be prepared for these things, you know? Yo, can she if they stop getting hit? I know it's two enemies, but can he can can you stop, please? You know what? We'll make you stop. Oh, I mean, turn that off. I almost did an oopsie. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So now we get the full chain. This is a lot of work for for some mediocre effect, by the way. <laughs> so we got all our characters with a full Ogi. Now we get to get that great effect, I guess. <laughs> the Ogi's kind of cool in it, though. I like it. Like it's like Sonic Boom. Have you ever played um uh Marvel's Capcom 2? Uh, there was not Guile, but. Charlie. Charlie threw out a lot of Sonic Booms. So. I don't think he called it Sonic Boom, though. I think it was called different moves. I haven't played MVC 2 in a very long time, so forgive me. But now we get the, the, the good effect here. Gonna do that. Hit this. Hit this. Hit this. Hit this. Wait, what? Did that require a charge bar? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, it's 10, right? 10 charge bar for that. So we get that guaranteed TA, we don't really need, but you know, it's okay, I guess. But yeah, you can see like all that effort for what? They all get 45. We got a little charge bar. It's not really that amazing. In my opinion, personally, you probably think, oh my God, wow, what a combo. But I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I don't think that was great or anything. It probably it was, it was too much work for very minuscule uh, gains. Uh, I guess we gotta do the fire thing again. Our debuffs missed, sadly. So that's why we have no debuffs here. Uh. I was gonna use Morgana, but I don't, I don't need that. Ah, look. Really though? Really? Can we get? Oh, actually, we get charge bar speed, right? I think that does work. Let's check. I believe we get. I think. I think we get charge bar speed on Ogi, if I remember correctly. So maybe that'd be enough for you all to get an Ogi. If not, I'm gonna be very sad. Check here. Ah, nah, it's gonna be like two off. Ah, that's four off. Ah, no, I'm sad. Rest in peace. <laughs> and now we don't get any. We don't get anything out of this. Man, that sucks. <laughs> that really, really sucks. <laughs> Unfortunate. I had a, I had the right idea, just that I didn't, I didn't know the exact value. I don't, I haven't used the weapon. I don't know how much the value is on top of my head, but it seems the value. What was that? I went from 84 to 96, so I guess 12 percent per Ogi, which is okay. If we didn't get it, we can do it again with CFP skill three. And I guess we could combine it with uh, Neo skill four as well. Oh, with JK, I think we don't really need to, to be honest. Because Neo skill four gives triple tech anyway. So you can see, like, it's, it's really not that great, the weapon, honestly. I've seen better. It's too much setup for a very, very, very minuscule gain. Oh, we gotta hit the fence down. Oh, sorry, hit that. 
get a little triple attack on. Woo. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Sugoi, Sugoi. <laughs> so impressed. Uh, we have three turns in coma. Uh, man, drop Bahamut. So I was thinking that we can, like, we could, uh, Rune Slayer it, but... I don't think we'll do enough, honestly, without Coma. I said it, that makes sound. Fight me, Yogi, though. Good job, Shiete. You did one job. You did one thing really well, Shiete. I give you credit. I really am curious to find out um, how good would Win be with sen Sentence. But I guess we'll never see that for a long time. You miss me, you can't hit me, blah, 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 blah. Uh, go with that, with this. I kind of wanted to use Coma, but guess not. Hopefully that ends it. That was, that was potato damage. <laughs> That was... We don't talk about that damage. <laughs> that was no good. Oh, well. My team died! Can you imagine I just killed my whole team? <laughs> that would be so funny. Actually, my team got single attack here. If you didn't know, like, the, this down... The DA, TA down actually overwrites stuff that have 100% TA. So that's why my team, even though they had 100% T, actually no, they don't. It was gone. It got dispelled. Did it get dispelled? But yeah, skills that lower your DATA down actually overwrite skills that have 100% T on it, like fairy and stuff like that. So, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, the weapon's not that great, but. Maybe in the future, it may have some um, special class that comes out, or character that comes out. Mainly, mainly, I'm looking at a class. I think I think the problem with the weapon is mainly the classes don't really go that well with it. So, if they come out with like, I don't know, Luchador, Luchador 2.0, and it's like an Ogi build, maybe that fix the weapon, make the weapon really good. But as it is right now, pretty mediocre. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.